I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. Let me get that for you. I'm sorry. Here you go. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. The male spots a potential mate with whom he would like to reproduce with. The female is ovulating, which makes her much more sensual. She is also much more attractive during this period of time to attract her possible male suitors. Hey, I know I just kind of bumped into you, but would you want to go grab a cup of coffee or something? Yeah, sure, I'd love that. Oh, so, yeah, let's go. Three hours later. I had a really fun time tonight. So did I. Wanna come inside with me? That'd be awesome. Meanwhile, in the female body, the ovary releases the unfertilized egg. Then, male sperm travels up the uterus and then up the fallopian tubules, where it meets the egg two-thirds of the way. The sperm enters the egg and the egg is now fertilized. The next day. I don't know, we just bumped into each other last night and we really hit it off. And something may or may not have happened last night. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell. Yeah, we had sex. I met her coincidentally yesterday and she ended up inviting me into her house. I think he may be the one. He had deep voice, he had broad shoulders, and he was very, very tall. His testosterone levels must have been through the roof. These are all the traits I would look for in a mate to produce healthy offspring. Aw, oh, man. I was in such awe when I first saw her. She was so beautiful. She had luscious blonde hair, ample sized breasts, and a very preferable hip to waist ratio. Not to mention, she had an extremely appealing distribution of fat deposits around her hip, thigh, and waist areas. It was like heaven. I think she may be the one. These are all the traits that I would want in a mate to produce healthy offspring. Meanwhile, in the female body, as the fertilized egg moves towards the uterus, it already begins cleavage. The zygote then further divides to form a morula. It further divides into a blastocyst and it implants itself to the uterine lining. The blastula further divides into a gastrula, and here we start seeing the three germ layers, the mesoderm, the ectoderm, and the endoderm. These three germ layers will all end up differentiating into different organ systems. By the end of three weeks, the zygote already has a developing heart and a developing central nervous system. Three weeks later. My period was supposed to come last week, and it still hasn't come. This may only mean one thing. I'm pregnant. I have to tell him. The next day. Hey, sweetie, what did you want to talk about? Why couldn't we have just done it over the phone? I missed my period. What? I'm pregnant. You're, you're pregnant? We're gonna have a baby! Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have a baby! Yes! Wow, I can't believe it. We're having a baby. It all just happened so fast, I... Well, I guess it's time to prove my Darwinian fitness. Five weeks later. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the female body, the fetus continues to differentiate. Eventually, it moves within the uterus so that it is ready for birth. 
31 weeks later. Yeah, I'm doing a week. It's been really hard. It's taken a huge toll on my body. But I'll be bringing a new life into this world. And that means the most to me. Wow. I can't believe it. It's We're having a baby in one week. One week! Oh, man. But, you know, the pregnancy's been really hard on her, and uh, I just wish I could take the burden of giving childbirth from her, because it must be really painful, and I hope everything turns out being okay, and we're going to have a beautiful baby boy. One week later. He's a beautiful baby boy!